coming to you again. It is hard out here for a Christian. How many of you know it's hard out here for a Christian? Well, Jesus is the one who showed us the way, the truth, and the life. And in his story, he tells us and shows us how all these different things that we go through, he went through as well. And he gives us encouraging insight on how we too can overcome, how we too can get through. So join me as I share a quick little video with you about how God brings us the light in an area where the darkness tries to overtake. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. How are you doing? I hope you are well and in a peaceful place with God. Um, so, just wanted to share a brief video with you guys. So, um, you know the story where G the Last Supper, that story is very powerful to me. Um, and in that story where Jesus is telling the disciples, okay, let me just go back a little bit. So we know that he cast out the demon and the possessed man. He turned water into wine. He fed the 5,000. He met this uh, woman at the well and so many other things he done to show that he was a loving God, that he was personal. He touched people who had leprosy. And so, and he also, showed that there was no division in him between Jew or Greek or whatever the two types of people was, Jews and Samaritans. There was no difference. And so he showed that, um, he showed a lot of compassion. And then in this story, I love that he, as he said, that one of them was going to betray him. And guys, you know, Jesus knew everything and he knew who was going to betray him. Um, and he said, one of you guys are going to betray me. And of course, they all began to wonder, is it me? And of course, Peter, no, it's, I'm not going to betray you. And long story short, um, what I love about this is Jesus did not point out to the other disciples that he was speaking of Judas. And the reason I bring that up is because it's so easy. Hold on. It's so easy to hurt someone who hurt you, you know, let the people know it's going to be Judas. He didn't whisper that in the uh, ears of the other ones. He allowed them to check their own hearts. Of course, in the end, most of them betrayed him except, well, most of them were gone. Peter was the one that was, that also betrayed Jesus, betrayed Jesus, and John was at the cross. Um, So they didn't know their own stories. They didn't know how this was going to pan out, but what I got out of it is Jesus didn't gossip. And how easy is it for us when somebody hurt us to point them out that that's the one that did the thing? I know I am easy to do that. And since I have been reading God's word, I've been seeing other, you know, some things have been standing out to me. And that one was very significant, very significant because when I'm hurt, I can shrink back and just don't say anything to anyone. And then I might tell someone, hey, this person did this to me in confidence. But God doesn't want us to, I mean, you can still talk to someone in confidence, I do believe. But he wants us to be mindful of our tongues and how we speak to and one another about the other one go to him just turn to God and he blessed me with that one because it helps me to remember not to gossip so I hope this video was encouraging to you as his story is to me and remember it is his story not our story you'll see me in my next video thanks for joining me don't forget to like leave a comment and do subscribe